Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to talk about and explain the Caterpillar C27 model engine and C32 model engine. The ECM power and ground and how the ECM is energized and how to to measured the ECM power and ground voltages if your generator no crank no start condition you can check the ECM power supply make sure your ECM power supply is working or not before the starting the video I have small request to all of you especially for newcomer if you, if you are watching my video first time and not subscribe my channel please first of all go to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos because I uploading on a daily basis videos about the generators and all type of uh, engines ECM and problem and their solution videos so let's get started this is especially this video for the caterpillar c27 model engine and C32 model engine. How the ECM is power up and how to find out the ECM powers and ground. First of all, as you can see here, this is uh, the generator engines Caterpillar 20 C27 and C32 model engines. The ECM wiring and ECM systems are same okay so let's get started this is our EMCP like 4.2 4.3 4.5 okay and this is our emergency push button okay here is a this is the wire high okay from the EMCP 70 pin connector pin 71 is out for the ignition key switch ok and inserted in a in a, in a emergency push button and then out from the NO and insert in a fuse which is 15 ampere fuse and then out from the fuse to the ACM miniature circuit breaker this is the ACM circuit breaker this two type of engine have circuit breaker for the starter motor for the fuel solenoid for the fuel actuator for the ignition system for the ACM relay ok after that that's positive wire is out from the ECM MCB circuit breaker and inserted to the this is the ECM main relay okay as you can see here this is the pin 85 which is coil supply positive of the relay and this is the pin 86 this is the relay coil supply negative ground okay this 85 and 86 is a for the relay coil power up okay after that as you can see here this is our pin 30 which is positive input ok and pin 87A this is the normally closed pin as you can see here and then out from when we inserted a positive voltage and a pin 30 this is out from the pin 87A and feed to the ACM this, this is our ACM SEM pin 48, pin 52, pin 53, pin 55. This 4 pin is unswitched battery positive. Okay. And pin 63, pin 81 and pin 85. This is the battery unswitched ground supply for the SEM. Okay. Now let's to understand the working of or ACM and push button and all this are all main system of the starting system first of all 
as you can see here is a NO in and NO out and insert it in a fuse and then out from the fuse and then insert it in a ECM circuit breaker and after that out to insert it in a relay coil and relay coil one side is grounded okay and one side is positive feet and this condition we have no supply in this line because we we are getting the supply from the emergency NO NO means normally open okay no the relay is de-energized condition okay and this pins is already in NC in a normal condition the pin from pin 30 to pin 87A is a NC okay now we have supply to the ACM in this condition okay and also we have grounded in these pins this is the unswitch and this is the unswitch our uh, power supply to the ACM if your engine or generator crank does not start or no crank no start you can check power supply to this pin if you don't have any supply on this pin you, your engine will never start first of all verify the power up supply to the ACM then check another circuits okay what will happen when we press the emergency push button when we press the emergency push button the NO converted to NC that's mean normally closed the positive feed is out now from the fuse and from the ECM circuit breaker and directly feed it to the ECM main relay when the ECM relay is fitted with the positive voltage the ECM relay goes to energize and when the ECM relay is energized the ECM relay pin 87 NC is go to NO break out this connection disconnect the power feed from the ECM or engine is goes to shut down in a emergency push button condition when we press the emergency push button okay first off understand this is the function when we press the emergency push button the NO is converted to NC positive feed goes to the relay coil the relay is energized in this condition the relay when the relay is energized the pin 87A is converted to NO normally open when this positive feed from pin 30 to pin 87 is open the positive supply is cut off from the ACM the engine goes to shut down because we press the emergency push button in this condition if you not have supply only positive or negative check the negative is directly check the wiring grounding wiring from the chases or the junction ground to the ACM okay in this condition if you not have positive feed to the ACM first of all you check the emergency push button first of all you check the this this wire make sure this wire is not getting output okay a normal condition when you your inner emergency push button is not not pressed okay and then check the power supply make sure you not have output supply when your emergency push button is not pressed okay you not have output supply from the emergency push button if you have output supply from the emergency push button make sure your emergency push button is faulty or wrong connection because you are directly feeding positive voltage to the ACM relay when the ACM relay is energized ACM relay disconnect the supply of the ACM especially positive feed supply okay simply 
check the emergency push button output supply during non press non pushed emergency push button if your emergency push button is not pressed make sure you not have output supply from the eno okay when you have output supply that means your connection is wrong or faulty or make sure your problem in a emcp because this is bypassed in, in, in uh, inside circuit faulty faulted and this directly feeding positive supply to the ecm system okay first of all check the positive output here make sure you have positive supply here that's mean okay then your emergency push button is in off condition make sure you have no supply here that's mean your system is okay and then check your fuse make sure your fuse have continuity okay confirm and verify that's mean okay then check your mcp circuit breaker not tripped check the output continuity supply make sure that's okay after that you have no supply during the emergency push button in off condition you should have positive feed to the acm before that you check the pin 30 positive input make sure you must have positive input in a pin 30 which wire is coming to pin 30 okay if you not have supply in pin 30 that's mean you are fault in this wire only okay if you have positive feed in this pin that's mean your system is okay and they make sure you finally check you have output in this pins during the emergency push button is not pressed okay if you have our positive feed and pin 87a that's mean your relay contacts is stuck out okay and this relay contacts directly um, are breaked inside our relay is faulty that's mean that's directly feeding no uh, not feeding power supply to the acm because you not have power supply in acm because your engine does not start okay in another condition when we press the emergency push button this no converted to nc and nc out to the fuse and then out from the fuse to the m uh, acm circuit breaker and then out from the acm circuit breaker and feed to the acm main relay pin 85 when the pin uh, when we have positive supply and pin 85 and also uh, another side the relay coil supply uh, pin 86 is grounded with the junction ground when our relay is energized the relay disconnect the supply from the positive feed supply from the acm the engine is goes to shut down because we press the emergency push button so i hope to watch my complete video to understand better if you have any problem and further in this topic please comment right below i will make a Yeah, another video. So, as you can see here, this is the ECM Adam Five. Caterpillar have different type of ECM, which is mentioned name with the Adam Three, Adam Four, Adam Five. Okay, this is explanation of the ECM power and ground and emergency push button. So, I hope for you to understand. Thanks for watching my video. See you all next time. Goodbye.